So yeah, I wanted to make this video yesterday, but then a bombshell dropped with the, uh, that's my cat saying hello. A bombshell dropped with Bob's Watts's the lawsuit against the timepiece gentleman and Trevor. Yes, Trevor, not Anthony, Trevor. Very interesting. So they're suing Trevor as an individual. Um, again, that is not normal, right? Uh, if you're going to sue everybody, then Anthony would be sued as an individual. But maybe Trevor has assets that we don't know. Maybe Trevor's like a multi-billionaire or something like that. And he's been funding. I mean, it's so weird to sue Trevor. Um, because clearly from the video, uh, again, I think the video is now deleted. I cannot find it anymore. I did try to find it. But anyway, uh, Grand Caliber has a new podcast that almost nobody watches. I even get as many views as their podcast sometimes accumulated. And it is very, very shocking. And that podcast, which was very interesting, uh, got pulled. Uh, in fact, I think the podcast had one of the better names to it. It was going to talk about stuff that happened with Anthony. And it got pulled within two hours. I assume that it got pulled because Anthony contacted them and said that you are violating the agreement that we signed uh, to talk about that. I don't know what issue it could have been the violation. It could have been the insurance talk. It could have been maybe it was just a mutual non-disclosure where both parties were not supposed to talk about anything related to how it became. But they made a podcast. They had to pull the podcast. Then they said, oh, well, you know what? Um, we had to pull it because... Dear viewers, we regret to inform you that we have to take down our recent episode of Beyond Timepieces. We were advised that the content of the video could potentially infringe on the terms of the buyout agreement we entered into. So if they violated the buyout agreement, Anthony would be part of their company again and have their shares. Potentially. Depends on the agreement. Protecting our legal standing and ensuring compliance with all agreements is of ut utmost importance to us. Although it was a difficult decision to remove the video, we believe it is necessary to prevent any potential legal complications that could arise from its publication. We apologize for any disappointment or inconvenience caused by this action. We value your support and understanding as we navigate through these legal matters. Rest assured, we are actively working to create and share new content that adheres to all the legal requirements and agreements, we appreciate your patience and look forward to continuing to provide you with entertaining and informative videos in the future. Someone drop a download. Yeah, he's uh, sunk to sending litigation threats via attorney to Grand Calvary. So I'm reading a Reddit post right now. Um, he has been very, very sensitive on... Ever since the alleged uh, case has been played out, or I assume it was played out, I guess we'll learn more. Uh, he's been very, very sensitive about these things, and it kind of makes sense. Somebody's suing him for defamation. He uh, then wants to sue someone else. Now, the Bob Watts is, is very unique, because I'm pretty sure Bob knows he's not going to get any money. Or not Bob, it's owned by, you know, it's just, just the name. I wonder if it is owned by a Bob be kind of cool if it was but anyway regardless i think bob watches knows they're going to spend a lot of money litigating this and it's not going to really you know go i mean even if they win they're not going to get that much money especially if some other case uh ends up happening first which it looks like it will uh if i were in this situation i would just delay until if i had a criminal in a civil case i would just delay people typically don't sue criminals and they sue criminals, hey, it might be like a good time out of jail. You know, <laughs> we have a vacation out of jail. Yeah, he is, uh, so, man, he is uh, very angry. He's threatened to send me a cease and desist. I made fun of that because, again, like I said, if you want to sue, just sue. Don't threaten to sue me because it just doesn't make any sense. Um, 
So I guess like uh, Grand Caliber also has a legal department. Right? The legal department is telling him this stuff. Um, <laughs> this stuff doesn't make any sense. I cannot understand it. Like it, it gets more and more confusing every time I log on. And then uh, Liz, as of today, she's going to do a live. She's going to do a live stream. Grand Caliber, yep, got removed. The video got removed, and no one knows what the video says because no one normally watches the video. Uh, I just watched it. My biggest takeaway was Marco and Anthony's relationship went sour after Marco, Cali, Robert. Yeah, that. I think if you were robbed, if, okay, so this par your partner sets you up in the in the deal, and then oh man, my plane got delayed because of a passenger is acting up. Marco, can you go for me? Marco's like, yeah, this is a great deal. This is a $1.1 million deal. It's going to net them probably $200,000, at least $100,000, even at 10%. It's hundred. But back then, you were probably doing 20% or more. And they were so excited about that deal. I imagine the net was like something incredible. And then, uh, yeah, I got robbed. It was a setup. Uh, and then here's Jimmy saying legal reasons. Now you care about legal reasons. You never seem to care about your business partner driving under the influence daily with you in the car. Uh, okay, hey, here we go. We haven't conducted any transactions. So that was from a Reddit post. That's not my opinion. That's not my opinion of somebody on Reddit. Especially if you knew nothing to do with our business. From my knowledge, no current employees are free time felons. <laughs> Ooh, Jimmy, Jimmy taking a huge, huge, that is a huge blow, right? Uh, we haven't conducted any transactions, Anthony or TPG, in over a year. And yes, I'm concerned by the legality of the business I'm involved in, even though, I don't know, did he give him equity finally? Because I hope so. He's been doing an okay job of the company. He's been given equity. What people deal with personality is their problem, especially if it has nothing to do with our business. From my knowledge, no current employees are free time felons. Yikes, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, I mean, they, right now, Grand Caliber has no choice but to separate themselves from Anthony. Should things hit, shit hit the fan, it's like a shaking, it, the ship is sinking. It's already hit the iceberg. Now it's time for everyone to get off. Some people are going to get off faster. Some people are going to pretend they have a kid to get off. You know, like in Titanic, the movie. And some people are just going to jump off and hope for the best. Um, this is really interesting stuff, guys. Anyway, let me know. If you guys could please like the video, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I am trying to catch up the Grand Caliber. I think it would be amazing if my channel somehow had more views and then Anthony's channel, which might be happening for other reasons unrelated to me catch doing a good job. I think it would just be kind of funny, right? If my video quality had more views than Grand Caliber, who clearly is spending a lot of money on videography for videos they have to delete. Anyway, bye guys.